Hi there, dear friends and deep thinkers too. Welcome back to Portugal. We, we stole, we stole the kingdom from him. <laughs> he hated us anyways, unfortunately, because we have all these good counties. All these good counties. His spouse died. He's really. We had something good with him going, but now he only likes our son anymore. <sighs> it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to be hated by your peers. And this guy, King Arnold, wanted our artifacts just like that. No, just like that. No, we didn't want that. Uh, there's something going on, though. Something that we've started. We've started to increase the development of Toledo. Uh, as you can see... Ooh. Yeah, we have, we have extra development from an event, from that thing. So it's pretty, pretty good. Um, there's something else, though, that we want to do. We want to kind of reform. Uh, we have thought long and hard, and uh, we have all that money right now. That money needs to be put to good use. And a good use could be reforming the military. What we have is light. We have two times light horsemen now. Um, that's kind of nice, but they are light cavalry. Then we have bowmen, and then we have light footmen. But that's all light, so maybe we should we should look into other options, right? Giving us a little more broad things. The the light horsemen are pretty good. We can keep at least one regiment of them. Then there's more though. We would probably like to use pikemen. They are much stronger than light footmen, but they have not such a good pursuit. But they are really good in mountains, in desert mountains, and in hills. So that would add some depth to us. We have bowmen that we maybe want to keep. They are good in hills and in forest. Mm, they are not that great. We have onagers that would help us siege. I'm not sure that we need them. That could be done by our, by our vassals. Um, but we definitely want some of the pikemen, at least against uh, the camel cavalry. And then we would think about the armored footmen. Um, they're countering spearmen, and so probably also pikemen. Mm. As you can see, they are type spearmen. And they are countered by light footmen. So there's the question, right? Light footmen, on the other hand, are good in forest, in taiga, and in jungle. That's just not much. I mean, there's a little bit of forest somewhere, but in the new lands here, there's nearly no forest. So um, we would like to exchange one regiment of light footmen against something else. And we would like to exchange light horsemen, one regiment of that, against something else. So we'll destroy the light horsemen. Here we go. And we'll destroy the light footmen. Here we go. We now have bowmen and light horsemen. Still pretty okay. So let's see. We want to create another regiment. Mm. And what we wanted to get is... Uh, we've already established that we don't need light footmen anymore. We have bowmen and light horsemen. And so we want pikemen and armored footmen. Onagers will be done by our vassals. So, let's get us some armored footmen. And some pikemen. That will very probably increase our power significantly through the reforms. Now we need to get through that a little bit, but um, we think it's gonna be it's gonna be a welcome change. Also controlling Sala soon, we'll see. And then we have in our council uh, yeah, we want to convert the county of Granada we're on that here. And we're converting everywhere. We want to make it an efficient thing. Then there's more. We want to try to make it possible, at least for our successor, 
To be able to establish an empire, for that we need a lot more land. Look at our great son and steward. <laughs> the Honorable Empath. Um, let's hope he understands well his wife, our niece. We'll see how that goes, though. Uh, now, for now... Um, Oh, we can negotiate an alliance with our nephew, Count Lorian Fronildes of Alcanese. That would help. Can demand payments. We're not really interested in that. Uh, but he's, he's a very interesting man because of Murcia and all the problems that go along with it. So we're looking for further options. Ordono. <gasps> Life without you. Yeah, my cat. What about Ordono? He seems to put on a little weight. Is that because of the cat? I visit my brother Infante Ramon to see how little Ordono is doing in his care. That's our former cat. He meets me outside his castle. The orange cat in his arms. He's doing well. He likes to try grooming the hens. I am relieved. <laughs> I am relieved. Yeah, he has a pet cat now. Mm. Because our wife is allergic to her. We didn't we didn't want to do that. Mm. So let's have a look. We could hold court well, relatively soon, but what we want is we want to get more of these lands under our control. For example, to hurt. Let's see, is there more of to hurt? And we want to draw a line like here at like the later Tunisia. So that maybe here, the Emirate of Algar maybe is is where we'll stop. And other than that, we'll go down here if we can reach that, if we can reach that. We have Meknes, Shaikh Boson of Meknes, and I think he's also allied to someone. No, he's allied to no one. Are you kidding me? We can seize him de jure again. How is he doing? He's Catholic, actually. So we could just maybe ask him to become our vassal, but he doesn't want to do that because we're not his rightful liege. Um, still, mm, who is his rightful liege? Let me see. Uh, we can siege it for, I think, our son. The Shaikdom of Meknes is in the Duchy of Fez, and the Duchy of Fez is controlled by our son. So we would give our son someone, which would be a great opportunity. Because we want to make our sons very, very, very powerful. So, move in here. What is that, the bishopric? Bishop Rick? Well. Time for Meknes. Here we go. We declare the war on him. Let's raise our men. Everybody's ready. Army of Wazig. Army of Ramon. Yeah. Get in here. We'll also get in here. We'll all be done greatly. See, so we have three knights. They've got five. We've got no men at arms. Oh my goodness me. Culture has joined the early medieval era. New innovations are available. Oh, knight. Nice, I mean. Knight was wounded. Hmm. Let's have a look. Our culture, we could get more traditions. We could reform as to Leonese. Ooh. Ooh. Establish one new tradition. Let's see. We could do that with all the prestige that we have. Nice. So we have mountaineers currently. Hit and run tacticians, fervent temple builders. City keepers. Buildings, construction time, architect trade provides a prestige bonus. Mm, I'm, I don't know. Agrarian, development growth, 
Mm. That would be very good for the future, but we have said that we are a martial generation. Or, so we want to um, we want to go for knights and everything. Could go equal inheritance, can enact the equal gender law. That would fit well with egalitarian, right? But it's not really our thing. Let's see. Forest folk? <laughs> no. <laughs> Surely not forest folk. Garden architects. Can construct the royal garden stewardship building. Can appoint the court gardener. Gain a decision to recruit characters with a gardener trade. That mm, is not so big. Marital ceremonies. Adulterer and fornicator traits are despised. Hostile scheme, success chance versus spouses. It's less marriage acceptance plus 10 skills from spouse counselor tasks. That seems like something that has been always important to, uh, to us. We have maritime mercantilism. That would fit our current ruler very much. The trade port line of, can be constructed one area early. And coastal holdings in the counties of this culture provide an additional 10% tax. That's definitely something. That Then, I mean, the marshals, monastic communities, temperate trade, monk trades. I don't know. Mm. Ruling caste. Mm. Populist factions are less common. I don't really know. What is down there? Wetlanders. Advantage in wetlands. Pastoralists. Pastoral lands of buildings have additional bonuses in counties of this culture. And we will get prowess and disease resistance. Yeah, that would fit our dynasty. That would definitely fit our dynasty. Mountain homes, we could get even more from mountaineers to mountain homes. In mountains and desert mountains. But we would like something, something knightly. Coastal warriors mm, only goes with northern Germanic heritage. City keepers, no castle keepers, maybe. Mm, agrarian, not really. Astute diplomats cannot attack allies, cannot attack through a truce. But we get more alliances. Very useful. But I think what fits best is really what we've already had, because it's a combination of what our current king does, like working pastoral lands for money, and what the tradition of our family is, being kind of warlike, should give us prowess and disease resistance. The pastoral lands line of buildings have additional bonuses in counties of this culture. We'll become pastoralists. Here we go, we'll establish this. We established in 22 years. Oh, we have to unlock it. Mm. Monthly progress, base progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So there's that. We'll reform Astor Leonese. And we have a victory here. Of course, that was to be expected. <gasps> Rodrigo's educator, Santa, died. We need to find him. Someone else. Who's that guy? Our knight. He's not good as a guardian. Let us see. Hmm. I don't really know. Is there anyone? Maybe Enrique Gonzalez de Noboa. Flexible leader, brilliant strategist, ambitious, colors, calm. I think... We'll, we'll give him under this care, this man's care, and here we go, here we come. Settling down there, the victory is there. Mm, the question is, do we need more? I don't, I, I think we just need to 
get Magnus down, which means we can also disband this army and we can also disband this army already because we don't need more. Here we go. We can imprison Countess Dulce. What is... Oh, she's a fornicator. We leave uh, their punishment to God and the Pope. And the Pope. Grandson left the prison. Nice, nice, nice neighboring rulers. One war. Arnul has won against our nephew Infante Joao in the Galician claim on the county of Badajoz. Which means Badajoz is now under Galician rule. Ooh, we wanted to do that, but we had no claim. It was a logical thing to do to protect him. Uh, we should we should definitely go for a hunt because we're very stressed, but we want to wait until we've won the war. Because of courtesy reasons, right? So here we go. We'll probably win. Let's see. Fighting. Allied combatants. Henry de Balban was slain. No? Henri. Oh, well, he was 63. Maybe that was the end he wanted for himself. In battle. But Henri, I think we'll raise the men at arms here as well. We need some reinforcements to make this a little bit safer for our knights. What are they doing? Uh, they're running around here. Oh, I don't know. We've been overwhelmed by stress. Oh my goodness. But charity makes me a better person, right? I cannot scourge myself, it's too risky. I've died from this. Just about saved ourselves. Our friend died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Count Andrus died as well? My goodness. Hmm, we have promoted culture in Malaga. Nice. Okay. Um, where can we promote culture again? Uh, that is all Astralianese. Go to Granada. Proclaim it here as well. Mm hmm. This will be done very quickly. The siege is ready. Captured everything, everyone. It's time to become a vassal again. It's better for you, anyways. Peace be with you. Your hook on Infantiguian has been replaced with a favor hook. Okay. So, be it. The Shaikh Boson. It's also no longer a Shaikh, I hope. It's now Count Boson. <laughs> Can disband everything. Nice. Another good victory. And we'll call for a hunt now. Sound the horn. People are back from war. It's time to celebrate their return. Mm, it's been reduced. Rampaging heart. Just as my vessel, Mayor Rodrigo and I crest the hill, we hear it. The snapping of twigs, the rustle of branches, birds screaming in fright. Their heralds announcing its arrival, a massive heart heading straight for us. Its path ends here with me. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Are we like that? Are we ambitious? No, we're diligent, generous and chaste. Yeah, we, cannot, we can avoid this. Um, help Rodrigo do something. <laughs> Is he good at that? He's, he's terrible at that. <laughs> I don't know. Should we do that? Are we as proud? I don't think we're as proud. We just wanted to have some fun. He's gained a favor hook on us. Oh no. <laughs> my spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting to kill my courtier, Yuva. 
Yuva Lamtuna, our antiquarian. They're really running rampant here at our court. What do you bet our our mayor here will counsel himself in and he'll replace my son as a steward again. Our brother Rodrigo died? <gasps> Gout ridden. They all die. We wanted to give him something, but uh, I guess it's a little bit too late with 70. Um, gave him a spouse who was a novice physician, but... Yeah. At least his kids uh, survive. He with the cruel man with a cruel fate. Maybe his fate made him this man. Returning from the wild, everything that could go wrong. We return home in disappointment. But still, but still. We're a little bit relaxed and that's what counts. Mm. Count Bazon, yes, yes, indeed. Hmm, Countess, yeah, we could could not convince her. I've got children and the children are Ashari, so I'm not really sure. Um, his heir is Catholic. That's what counts for us. Yeah, we're getting deep into Muslim lands now. Murcia. We cannot declare war because we have an alliance with someone who hates us with a passion. <laughs> Galicia. We could declare war. That would be a gigantic war. And we won't do that. We have not the personality to do that. We're not a warrior. We're a steward. We're terrible at martial too. That would just not be what we do. I mean... When was the last time we went to a pilgrimage, by the way? Yeah, we should do that right now. Maybe go on a pilgrimage. Yes, that's a good idea. Catholic pilgrimage. Where do we want to go? Uh, we haven't been to Vaticano. So we'll go there. So prepare for the journey. I know that I'll travel safely under the protection of God. While I go with the Lord, my realm must wait, however long I may be gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. We must get the support of God. Love thy neighbor. Among my fellow pilgrims, there's a woman who preaches compassion and fellowship until she reaches, reaches the topic of heathens. They're abominable monsters in the eyes of God. We don't think they're abominable monsters. We just want to convert them. Right, that's, I mean... We're generous, diligent, we're a rather relaxed personality. They are not all that bad. And we gain more, more taxes from them, which is absolutely our thing. The arrival, I'm finally here. Body and soul at the great church of Vaticano. As the bishop offers me blessings, I reflect on everything that had to happen for God to bring me here at this moment in time. We have become a pilgrim. Nice. I've gained more experience too. Let's see. War profiteer. Monthly income while at war is higher. This is my domain. Extort subjects. Here geld. Vassal tax contribution. 10% more. Let's go for that. Let's just get us a little bit more money. My journey's been a long one, but I've finally come home again. I've undergone the journey of a holy man, and they insisted us change something about me. I've visited the papacy. Whether I can see it myself or not. The Pope doesn't like us <laughs> because we requested so much gold from him, but other than that, it's good to be home now. Our neighbor has won against Count Manuel of Orania. In 
the holy war for the Sheikdom of Yalala. Um. Oh, he was defending. What about what? What is that guy? What is he? Oran. How's Oran? Okay, he, he just went in there. My just son just sent him there. All right. Let's see about Marrakesh, though. Leading them is a kid now, and he has only one ally. It's not very strong. Only, and it's, yeah. We have someone who's called Count Agetcher. In our realm. Vassal. No, no, I, th I think we should go for something else. Holy War for the Emirate of Marrakesh, right? We could also go for a county, but that would not be enough. Uh, we'll go to war for the Emirate of Marrakesh, and that's for one of our sons. Declare the war, Emir Siso, and we'll raise the armies uh, over there. Let's see. We'll Raising here. Raise our men at arms and everything else. They've joined. A word of advice. I saunter between the markets. Straight stalls of Toledo. A heavy pouch tugging at my belt. How do I make this coin work for me? I, as I admire the wares of a local jeweler, exquisite filigree, a sound investment, my spy master Diego suddenly appears at my side. A word of advice. My liege, have a look at the mason's workshop over there. Their wares might be simple, but their potential is great. Turn a quick profit. We could invest. Mm. We have no money to invest right now. Turn a quick profit with some clever trades. Unfortunately, we can only do that. Mayor Rodrigo has become our spy. Really? He cannot be fired for... He's a schemer. And he's terrible. He's terrible. We must remove him from, from something. What can we do to him? What can we do with him? We could blackmail him. Use a secret. We've discovered to gain a hook. He's a deviant! Ha! We'll blackmail him. We need to get rid of this incompetent man. It's way too dangerous to have him there. Hmm. Now. Marrakesh. Uh, you'll walk. You'll never walk alone. Ah, here. To the Boo of Anfa. Wait. Um, wow, our man here is wounded. No, no, no. We won't. We won't have you here if you're wounded. But maybe, yeah. The support guy could go in here, and here we'll have Duke Chill or Enric Gonzalez. No, we'll have him here. And you'll go to Mrira. And siege. My goodness me, we, we need to get rid of this spy master. Let's make it a little bit slower. We've blackmailed him. We've gained a hook on him. Can we fire him now? We need to get rid of this man. I'm blocked for 25 years for this. We could imprison him with a hook. Could revoke a title. That wouldn't work. We could demand payment. How do we get rid of him? We don't want to as we don't want to kill him or something. Ah. Oh. We will imprison him. 
This is an act of tyranny, causing all subjects to lose five opinion. We use a hook. Hmm. If you fail to imprison him, he'll become a wanderer. Can we beg him to leave? Fifteen gold. Need to get rid of him. Any at any. If we expose him as a deviant, we can imprison him. Expose it. Lost our blackmail hook, but now we can imprison him. Because he's a known criminal. Here we go. He is locked up. Good. Oh. We have Diego, our old spy master. I have Infante Ramon, who would be fit for this, but he's our marshal already. Come on, Diego, you need to be back. You need to be back. So this man... He saved our life, but we need to, we need to release him. Um, we'll not banish him, though. You can go. Oh. That was close. That was close. A spy master with that ability is a death sentence. Mark of distinction, as the renown of my dynasty grows, familiarity with the glorious Livid Gildiana sigil spreads too. My family's emblem is now common knowledge, listed among the great royal families of the region and the highest nobility of the Astor Leonises. Nice, nice, nice. Um, as it should be. Our banner became, became famed. Schema discovered. Is my wife Queen Flamula that is plotting against Yuva? Oh, great stuff. Can we ask her to stop this? I mean, we're not especially fond of him. A chattering fiend, but okay. It's our wife and soulmate. We'll leave her be. My son Rodrigo will get more education due to our wife's tutelage. Very nice. Uh, the Emir was taken prisoner. Unworthy peasants. While I was in the castle town with that Alfonso, his attention was caught by a criminal chained in the pillory. He lifted his hand and made a show of ignoring the criminals begging for water. Mm. Uh, no child. How stressed are we? Bring the poor man the water he asks for. He'll become compassionate. We're rather a good man. Donating to charities and everything. We don't want to see our son arrogant. That could also be his downfall. As we know. They're all doing what they should do. Good, good, good. My prisoner Bella says died in my dungeons. Catholic, French, miracle worker. We need to look in the dungeons again. We always only look when there's someone. Ah. Abdul Asim Madinid, the godless antagonist. I don't dare to recruit him.
We'll just let him go, and if he becomes Catholic, here we go. He has no choice. Indeed, he has no choice. <laughs> Prisoner taking siege. Emir Siso's mother. Yeah, free your mom. That's right. Former Emir. <laughs> what and where are they going? What's going on there? Will they? I don't know what they will do. We'll go to the Boo of Asfi. I've uh, gotten something else and we'll travel to Tadla. Captured some people. Oh! We have an available legacy and we'll go for generational belligerence. Pursuit efficiency, retreat losses increased and castle's belly cost goes down because that's what we always wanted to be warriors generational belligerence it's the family tradition what is what's going on here ah mm, four knights and our armored footmen and light horsemen taking part in this battle that will ultimately be decided soon Captured the Mufti. How was the battle? Yeah. So you can see the lack of pursuit makes us win battles easier, but ultimately also a disadvantage. Archbishop Azur managed to go and wear it faith. Great. Mm, there's some Muvaladi here. In Valencia. I mean, that was the goal, right? I mean, in theory, we should convert here, but we want to convert in Valencia because of our family uh, mission, basically. Make Hispania Christian. That was the old mission. And now, now we need to go for a new mission one day. Oh, we can ransom prisoners. Here we go. A woman we can ask our head of faith for gold i mean he already hates us but uh, he has so much money and we need money for faith we will use this health wise this wealth wisely and we can ransom more people another one bites the dust Another fight. How was that battle? It was a good battle. And we have won this. The Emirate of Marrakesh is ours. Well, Portugal is growing, I would say. Let's disband. <gasps> Our brother Christian died? What in the name of what did happen to him? He died from his wounds at age 54. Oh, he had become a flagellant. Uh. Uh. And who is his heir now? Now we have Murcia and Aragon. That's new. The Duchy of Aragon. Duke Lorien. Title claimant. Then we have Murcia, Duke Serrado Fronildes. Kind of likes us. Mm. Could we vassalize? Oh, he's at war? Against whom? Against the Dulce of Saragossa. Wow, this is... Uh, so our son is also in this war. He's defending against Countess Dulce Theodorigis of Saragossa. Uh, my good son. My good son. The great warrior. 
Our brother died from his wounds and we lost stress because he hated us. <laughs> he died from his wounds. Still, we're not happy about that. Even if he stole his kingdom title. Huh. Could declare war. Seize the Jury County. <laughs> Artifact claim war? No. Seize a county. What about Aragon? Cannot declare war because we're allied to him. Oh well. Oh, we can uh, sell him out. And we need to do something. Something for our sons. We have Mrira, we have Tadla. Asfi and... Oh, we don't have Marrakesh because Marrakesh itself was not in the hands of Marrakesh. In the hands of Sheikh Abdullah of Samur. Okay. Okay, is he also the Duke? Oh, whatever of Samur? Let's see. Chiefdom, Chiefdom, Chiefdom. Mosque. All right, oh no, he, he has no no such title. What can we do? We can, can we create, we can vassalize Duke Lorien. Low feudal obligations. High feudal. We'll do that. We can lawfully imprison Countess Dulce. We can negotiate an alliance with Prince Ramiro of Asturias. Here we go. We're generally happy about diplomacy. What could we do with him, with with her, Countess Dulce, Theodigilidis of Saragossa? She's of Castello Branco. She's leading a war against our son. We could imprison her because she's a fornicator. But uh, that would be not good because her, her family would... Ah, we can create the Duchy of Marrakesh. Indeed, that was what we wanted to do. Okay. Create that title for sure. And now... The Duchy of Marrakesh. Let's see, who is our next son in line? That would be Ad Infanta Adalfonso Adalfonses. Mm, I don't know if he will become such a good fighter, but... Oh well, oh well. Hmm. Shall give him something to do. Let's see. The barony of Sala is ours. Anfa. Is that uh, part of the empire? Yeah, that's part of the Duchy of Marrakesh. Mrira. Marrakesh. Tadla. Marrakesh. And Asfi. Also part of Marrakesh. So we have four of these holdings here. And we can grant them to our son. Dynasty, rank. Can give it to our player heir, but he has two duchies already and tons of things he cannot he cannot really hold more. Our nine year old son. Infante Adelfonso, here we go. You'll get that. Duchy of Marrakesh and all the counties in it that we have. You honorable empath will have a totally new realm there. Great stuff. And we'll find him a spouse. 
Can also be a child still. Healthy, Catholic. And if we can't find someone, albino. Olaya de Cantabria. Quick and an albino. Or our granddaughter. Quick, arrogant, pretty and albino. Vivili Majoris Vimaranis. Hmm. She's ten, he's nine. Potential alliance with the Duchy of Marrakesh. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, that that should be good. Okay. She's a religious gambler, really? <laughs> what the actual? <sighs> so, we got a whole duchy. Next would be maybe Tahart. What's going on with Tahart? They have a war against Mufti Yeften Ibn Abbas of Mzab. Oh, that's Mzab. Mzab is pretty big. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Heir is in line to inherit some titles. Yeah, that's good. Marrakesh. What do we have? The Amaliad Emirate. We need something for our younger, younger son. He's perfectly equipped right now. We still have Rodrigo. The bold believer. What shall we get him? some more. There's Sus, the Scheikdom of Sus. That has two. Uh, Scheikdom of Sus, Tinmala and Dra. Ah, okay, that's... Yeah, the, they have three lands here. And that would be actually something. Then we have some more, of course. If we declared on some more, what could we get? Seize the chiefdom of Marrakesh de Jure. Yeah, that would be something good, but wow, are they strong. They've got good allies, Aglabid and Sunni Caliphate. Where are these guys? Aglabid and Sunni, wherever that is, but strong enough. Let's have a look at Sus. Seize the Scheikdom. Cannot go for a holy war, apparently. Ah, uh, is that true? Yeah, we can only go for sh for for that control. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Amel Yat Emirate. How about that? Holy War for Duce. That would be something. That would be something. He has no allies. Be able to go into that very, very quickly. It's a perfect opportunity. Move our rally point here. And declare a war on him and his duchy. Not Catholic, but we can still... Wow, he's a good warrior, though. An aggressive attacker. And his heir is... His heir is wandering. What the hell? What did he do to this heir? <laughs> well, well, well. Okay. Declared war on him. Rally point here. We'll raise them here. Accept your gracious offer of vassalization, my liege. Excellent. 
And we've formed an alliance. Good, good, good. Portugal has grown, now there's only Murcia left. We still we have kind of good relations with him, right? Once his war is over, we might be able to vassalize him as well. And who else is in our court, by the way? There's two prisoners here. Musa. Mm. Not someone we want in our realm. You can go. And Ifsr Ifsrid. A learned man. An honorable lackey. Humble, temperate and trusting. We would like him with us. Oh, he could renounce the claims on the county of Asfi. Hmm. Hmm. We could accept him as... Yeah, he could convert. Negotiate the release. Getting over there. He, accept, he accepts that. Farewell, Musa. Let someone go over here to Asfi. Oh, that's our... Mm. Now we need him here. So that's the supplier. Ah. Uh, let the young man lead. We have that guy. He'll wait here. Okay, go in here. We, we could host a feast. And we'll do that after the war is over. So everyone can partake in the feast they want to. Rodrigo will get a better education due to Queen Flamela's tutelage. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, okay, so you're going over here. That's nice. Um, will we be able to capture them? Yeah, we could do that. We'll see. Um, yeah, we're going to go here. And you should should maybe go to Asfi or something. Our neighbor king uh, Alvaro has won against Queen Sinegith of England in the Holy War for the Earldom of Leon. Uh, what well, that was here? <laughs> yes, that's the Earldom of Leon. <laughs> that's one of these weird things. So he has won against Queen Sinegith of England. The Lollard woman. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm. Weird, weird things. Well. Well, well. Go over there. Notable guest has arrived. Leo de Gunya de Mura. Hmm, she seems good. My ailing daughter, it's time to decide how to treat Mayor's leprosy again. A certain a tincture. Be cautious, do no more than what is necessary. Good, good, good. Reduce disease symptoms, successful treatment. Our poor daughter. Oh well. Anyways, we'll see it around. Oh, there they come. Sana is under siege. Get in there, Mr. Aggressive Attacker. My beloved sister, that has not escaped my notice that my sister, Queen Ximena. Oh, she married King Alvaru now. A very good-looking woman. The way she smiles and watches the servants struggling with the ways never fails to make my heart flutter. Oh. She's my sister. Get a grip, Adolfonso. And we know our sister. She, she is not into men. <laughs> God.
get a grip. Truly get a grip. Just wow. Infante Ramon, he's finished the task. Very nice. Yeah, should you should increase more controls. Maybe here in Ceuta or somewhere in, in Tangier. Let's see what is held by us. Is Tangier held by us? No, that's held by our son. By our son. Meknes Garb. We could we could send him to Garb. Ah, it's already at one hundred control. Okay, nice. <laughs> fuzz, fuzz, Tadla. Meknes. Hmm. Oh well. Ah, let's control this. It's fine. It will be for our air. There is a battle. We have three knights. They have seven knights. We have armored footmen and pikemen, though. And light horsemen. So we should be moderately an advantage. And we, of course, we're on the defender's side, which is always a big advantage. So here we go. Capture the Mufti. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Lost 83 men, they lost 298 men. Wow. Very effective we were indeed. We'll soon have that fort. Controlling this. <gasps> and we have died. King Adolfonso III of Portugal has given up the ghost at 64 years of age. He died of old age. A keen and dedicated hunter, he loved to spend entire weeks in the wilderness looking for the most elusive game. King Guilien ascends to the throne. Beautiful beyond words, his appearance will have foreign dignitaries groveling at his feet. Well, he's handsome. He's not beautiful beyond compare. Our son, he's at war. Now, what we can say is we had we had a great um a great time, really. A great advancement. <laughs> Look at that. That's now Valencia. Yeah, we have expanded greatly Portugal. We have um we have gotten the Kingdom of Andalusia back in, and now we have lost the Kingdom of Valencia back again. But all in all, look at that, there's Andalusia again. It is all split up again, but all in all, Portugal is still pretty powerful. And the foundation for that is in the new lands around here. Let's see, we lost a lot of titles. The Duchy of Toledo, we got. The Duchy of County of Nigeria, Toledo, Garb. Yeah, but we already had some counties, so it's not that bad. King Rodrigo and Alfonso of Andalusia got some stuff. A half-brother and bold atheist got it, actually a lot. King Adolfonso III got the Kingdom of Valencia and the County of Valencia. 20 more titles. Yeah, to a 20 more titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our lineage. Started with King Adolfonso the Great. Expanded a lot. King Rodrigo ruled for a while until he gave in to Melancholia. King Adolfonso the Second had a great, great reign for 42 years wise and progressive. King Adolfonso III, unfortunately, on, only lived 64 years. He's fought in 15 wars. More defensive, though. That's a difference, right? He had more offensive than defensive. He all, we had not many wars, Rodrigo. Also not much time. 17 wars. 
Let's have a look. We had 22 wars, 7 wars, 17 wars. And Adolfonso had 15 wars, so he was a very warlike king. But we already have fought with 21. We have fought in 7 wars already. We're a sinner. Wow, why are we a sinner? We're just very low in that, right? Shy, stubborn, and compassionate. Continuous King Guyen. And we have actually, at this point, won the Holy War. Enforce the demands. We have gained a personal claim on Helena's goblet. <laughs> Gods. <laughs> then let's have a look. We still have a lot going on. What's going on there? There's another battle. Thankfully, we got a full purse from our uh, father. We're under a really big amount of stress. We're still feeling fine. Only being stubborn keeps us alive, I guess. Our heir is our brother and half-brother. Our spouse doesn't really love us, but she's pregnant now. So maybe that will help. Maybe that will help. She's an intelligent woman. That will help us. Rule the realm. Let's see. She's assisting us. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we leave her like that. We have still the Archbishop <laughs> and the spy master of our father. We have 11 holdings, but we could only use six of them. We have 6,666. Oh well. Her <laughs> level of devotion is sinner. My goodness me. <laughs> we're, not very, we're not very good at that so far. But we will change that. We have excellent prowess and we can lead armies. That's our advantage. Our dynasty head changed. Now King Alvaro is our new dynasty head. Of Asturias, because Asturias is a, just a great, great kingdom. So Portugal is not so great, but he's also yeah, he's starting to grow old. He's starting to grow old. What kind of man are we? What kind of man will we be? We have a short overview here. We're a brilliant strategist. So we'll be apt at leading many wars and... Um, that's probably what we'll do. We'll educate our children in the art of war. And um, what we'll try to to get going is, an, is probably an empire, if we can do that. There's a lot to do at the Royal Court. We have four new artifacts. We have a lot to choose, a lifestyle. We have a lot to distribute. We have an empty council position. We still have Toledo, which will carry us greatly. We have the Astro-Leonese culture that is growing better and better, that our father has reformed actually. And we have not such a good income, <laughs> not such a good income because of our raised armies. Wow. Wow. The other expenses are not that great, but the raised armies are terrifying. And we need to win the war against the tyranny of Infante Guyen. We are defending against Countess Dulce of Saragossa. And we're currently beating her here. And we need to go here to the county of Saragossa and to the county of Bragantha and take that for us. Which we'll do next time. And we truly have a beautiful king this time, right? He's looking... Well, he's looking handsome, not beautiful. We have already made that. He's been blessed with a pleasing male physique. And his wife is intelligent, so... We'll probably have very beautiful, wonderful children. 
Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Kahn signing out. See you soon and happy gaming. We'll have an amazing and interesting time before us with a very, very young king whose only problem is a couple of wars, a distributed kingdom. Yeah, that's more than one, right? And a glaring stress level. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Kahn signing out. See you soon and happy gaming.